Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 37 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about Gaussian's law. We can see in this system, we have two cylindrical uh, shells, right? The inner radius R1, our outer radius R2. At the initial, we put an electron at, at the inner surface. It moves to the outer surface. So we need to find its final speed. For this case, we can see the outer shell carries a positive charge. Inner shell carries a negative charge. Agree? This is the following problems from problem 36. So the electric field is from the positive charge to negative charge. So that is radically inward. As we know, electrons carry one fundamental negative charge. So the electric force will opposite directions just pointing out, right? And as we know, this force is the electric force will bring the acceleration, will change the motion for electrons. So electrons will accelerate from the inner radius to the outer radius. So it looks like the first step, we need to find the electric field between these two layers, right? Between the R1 and R2. So how can we do that? We can consider Gaussian's rule. So we draw a Gaussian surface between these two renders, R1 and R2, right? And then we can see the electric field times the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. So write the function for the electric field is is enclosed charge divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r times l. Right? Now we look at this Gaussian surface. What charge enclosed? Q1, just Q1, right? So then we input the Q1 inside. We get the electric field dense. Look like this one. The next one, we need to find the electric force. As we talk about, electric force is charge times the electric field dense. So charge times the electric force. There we just write the magnitude of this electric force F. So we add this absolute value there. Right? Yes. Now, as we know, this, we know the kinetic energy principle. This one is the kinetic energy change equal to the network, right? And then, see, electric force moving outward and the electrons moves outward. It will do positive work on the electrons, right? And then, this network just uses the force times the distance it traveled. And this force changes with R, so we do integral from R1 to R2, get the answer look like this one. Now it looks like uh, for this work energy principle, the work is done, the V is the final speed at the outer, the outer radius. The V0 is initial speed, we can see it's zero, so finally we can write the function for the speed V as a function of the work divided by with the mass. Input the work there, so we get the function for speed, look like this one, so we can input all the quantity inside, get the answer, look like this one. Mm -hmm. The second case, this time we have the proton. And we can see for proton, it carry positive charge, right? So positive charge, the electric force will be the same as electric, electric field dense, agree? So it is radically inward pointing to the center of the circle. Mm -hmm. And this net force, you can see, will do the cir circular motion for these protons, agree? Yes, it tells us it do the circular motion for the protons. And then we can see the net force act on this proton is electric force. We can write it as QE, right? So there we still take the absolute value to say this is the magnitude of this net force. 
as we know, this net force equal to mass times the circular acceleration. So we get this function. From this function, from this equation, we can get the function for v, and then input all the quantity inside. You get the answer there. Thank you.